Hey you guys, this message is about what looks like definitely a twin flame connection here. Um, I've tried to do this reading like this will be the third time and I kept getting stopped. So that usually means for me that um, there's something I'm not getting the point across about. Okay, so we got the lovers that came out next. Um, so I'm just redoing it. Okay, we had the Emperor and the Empress coming out together. And the lovers again, the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment um, with the Tower. So this connection was has been like an epiphany for somebody. Um, the thing is, it's like this beautiful love story here. And then bam, this card right here represents to me that um, it kind of, has or will maybe go into some kind of strange rabbit hole type energy okay so that's really it's gonna really be the catalyst i feel to send you um into this spiritual awakening that's gonna change your life so um i got three songs before i start i think it's three uh actually i think it's four okay princess diana ice spice and Nicki minaj Saturday, Sunday, Jason Derula and David Guetta. And don't worry about me, Chloe. So, if you guys want to screenshot that from my notes. Okay, so those were the songs I got. And it seemed like a, like a, um, well, this card looks like it almost. This Three of Wands where... All these synchronicities were happening here. Both of these high priestess cards came out. And so it's like, I think that you both were getting all of these uh, synchronicities and signs. And then, well, okay, now this is interesting. I was going to say, but her eyes are closed. But if you look closer, you can see her eyes looking through there. So it's like somebody is acting like they don't see the connection, but they do. They, they're they getting these signs and synchronicities too. Okay, and then these cards came out together, the Knight of Materials and the Knight of Emotions, these horses. It's almost like they're button heads though. With this shell, I'm getting... Uh, and not just from that, but from many other cards that came out when I was trying to record at first. I was getting like this past life connection energy here. Um, and I did see as I was uh, pulling cards, and I had gotten like 20, 25 minutes in. But it was so, it kept going back and forth and back and forth because there seemed to be this so much confusion or like trying to understand the connection and we got these two ace of cups cards here like that could be either two choices and these two horses could be two choices too or these two knights but to me it looks like this is you and this other person here both of your hearts were connected but the thing is i feel like that you may have you may be keep the situation keeps happening with this person or if it hasn't yet i feel like that's where it's going where you keep on being asked to have patience you know unless that's both of you having to have patience with these temperance cards coming through but there's a lot of this energy of like this big um, rush of emotions with these towers coming out and then it's like then it almost goes dry or cold for some reason and what I'm feeling like that might be is maybe with this ten of pentacles and this uh queen of pentacles that came out in reverse and then the empress card came out too I was feeling like okay maybe this is connected to some kind of baby mama issue or if not it could be like family members that keep pulling this person away and or this could be like I said future energy um but something does okay it's like something keeps pulling them away to where 
you're you go from lit up to this healing phase and it's like you seem to keep having to go through this healing phase again and then they're always in the background watching and coming back around because here we are again with these it's almost like these two hearts are connected here the king and queen of wands all right but this person i do feel like possibly has some uh hmm I'm trying to figure out how to word this. They could be a little manipulative at times. Okay, so that's what I'm getting with this devil card here. Unless they're like dealing with some kind of addiction or something. They could be dealing with an obsessive person even. With that lion standing behind him. It's like there's always somebody in his ear or behind him or something like that. So again, I got the ten of voices, the moon, and the world. So it's like these endings will happen and then the wheel comes around again. It's like this person manifests or will manifest you again, coming up as a friend. And I don't know if you're gonna get to this point where you get sick of that kind of dynamic, but whatever's gonna happen here, this whole situation is, is going to it's like open your third eye or something or start, like I said, this spiritual awakening process within you where it's going to awaken all these uh, gifts and abilities, I feel like. And with this six of emotions, again, there's a, a past life energy here. Or, And another thing is with that six of emotions, this could be... Um, Something this person is dealing with as far as maybe some kind of childhood trauma or maybe they were connected to somebody with for a long time that they had a kid with or something. But things are coming together for you with this three of materials. And we got the king of wands again here with this knight of voices. Now, this could be this person realizing. But like I said, I do want to say that I feel like this happens. This person gets this um, epiphany about your connection and then they come running in and then some kind of weird energy comes up where maybe they get afraid because the devil can represent fear also. Okay, so this is my favorite two of cups and this came out for you with this king of, um, well, muse of emotions, which is the king of emotions. And I'm not sure if this is you kind of disconnected from this other person. And although it's gonna, the connection feels like it's changing you, opening up these almost like psychic abilities or something. Um, okay, but the King of Cups here with the Two of Cups. Either this person is going to end up showing their feelings eventually, or this could be somebody new. So I'm gonna look further into it. Um, with that last song, let me see what it's called again. Don't worry about me, Chloe. That song, and I didn't listen to the whole song, but it seemed like you're going to get to this point where, okay, with the moon and the Knight of Cups, where maybe you're like, okay, I'm tired of trying to figure this out. I'm going to figure me out. Maybe. Okay, so let's see what is coming up for this. Yeah, this, okay, with this Four of Cups coming out and this Ten of Wands, I'm getting like, I mean, this person could be drinking, uh, but I I do feel like with that, it's heavy on their mind or this could be future energy. Like I said, that they really missed this, missed out on this beautiful connection for some reason. And it could be because of an addiction or something or some kind of uh, fears and anxieties. You know, it could be a lot of things, but something happened. <clears throat> yeah. With this Eight of Swords, it could be just their own self with this fear. And I don't know really what the fear is of, but it's like that this bond or connection will happen between you and then this person will pull back. It's almost like they, they see a reflection of themselves or something. They pull back and then, yeah. <clears throat> see because like here we got 
the four cups with the eight of swords like all stuck and you know missed opportunity then we got the six of wands with the chariot like riding back in you know what so hmm the hangman with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck you know what that that's giving me like this what this is what this person wants to do is and with the six of wands and the devil that could be like ego too but it's like this person wants to come in and have this victory with you <laughs> like but they're stuck they're always stuck and they're all in their head about that or like i said this could be future energy but I think it's it's this thing of they don't understand the connection. The Eight of Pentacles with the devil. This devil is the one that's got this lock on it that's um, not even locked. So it's like somebody's in their own, dang, all these cards here are being like, now this, if this is you, or if it will be in the future, it's like, someone here doesn't realize that that everything is working out in their favor that this this whole situation is um leading you to where you're supposed to be going oh, wow okay with the nine of pentacles in this two of cups are here which and then the moon this Two of Cups is another soulmate card, and it's like with the Nine of Pentacles on, um, and the Eight of Pentacles, this could be, now, if you work with this person that you were thinking about as I was talking through the reading, then this could be about them, but if not, you may end up meeting someone through the work that you do or that you're going to do. Knight of King, Knight of Kings, King of Wands with the Knight of Cups, two, two, two on the timer. Okay, so this is. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it is back and forth and back and forth. You have got to be extremely annoyed because it's like, okay, this person is looking at you, looking at you, like almost through. It's almost like they don't want you to know how they feel, okay? But they're sending all this energy your way and then they sit back like, oh, I missed the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get a couple more of these and then I'm gonna pull some from the Island Time Wellness deck. Five of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. This could be you, um, see the king and queen of wands again. Well, okay, so there, whatever is holding this person back, and I guess that's what I'm going to ask. Okay, so you see, it's like this energy exchange between these two people. But he's got his head down, so that's giving me this feeling that you think that he doesn't understand, but maybe he does. But it's just fear holding him back. Wow, okay, that's pretty interesting. All right, so I'm gonna get some from the Island Time Wellness deck. Like I said, mask, not showing true feelings, hide, pers personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So this person, they know what, they feel the connection. They, they understand it maybe more than what you think they do. So they might have a lot of pride and ego here.
Okay, so soulmates here. Now, in the other one, uh, the twin flame one came out. Golden mirror, sort of self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love on me. Okay, so you know what I'm getting here, though? Now, this could be another person. So, there could be two people here that I'm seeing. But now, with this, with the self-absorbed narcissist and one-sided relationship thing, it's like maybe this is somebody that's just taking, you know, energy and not returning it here. Okay, endings bring new beginnings. So, I do feel like... Um, I feel like you... Because your intuition coming up with the, all these high priests and stuff. Um, your intuition and your heart is going to know too much. <clears throat> you're going to be able to see through something that you don't like. No matter what this connection is, I feel like. You're, you're into something with somebody here. So, we got a king of cups and a king of wands. That's kind of two different energies. Okay, so heart with a key. And exes can show up in readings a lot. That happens a lot. So this could be some ex that's still trying to hold on to you. All right, but heart with a key. Welcoming, love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together. Perfect. And then we got not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation or call, boundaries. Okay, then we got twin flame. So you can have a twin flame and a soulmate is what I'm getting here because I did feel like there was two energies. And I think you're dealing with both. <laughs> Okay, now one of them could be a narcissist. <laughs> Definitely could be, you know, because you're coming up as this empath. But um, you're healing from this, whoever this one is that's causing all the, the problems. Whoever that is, you're going to be healing from them with this healing heart and paradise card. Healing from heartbreak, happiness, expansion, and joy. All right, so I'm going to get some from the uh, Believe in Your Own Magic deck. And then probably the Sacred Forest Oracle. Library, take control of your own narrative. And with that number 22, um, I got a... Oh my gosh, look official person you are an official person i was just about to say i had another number 22 and it wasn't even this card okay but i was gonna say i had a 44 for you before i believe and so you were coming up as a master number um 31 stardust or universe we are all just stardust so with that i'm gonna get some from this Actually, that's the only one. I'm going to just take that one from that deck. Okay. And I think this one is called the Star Seed Oracle. I could be wrong, but I got this from Val at Lightworkers Together. Free Spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls. To fly without judgment and to love without conditions. That's what you are as a free spirit. Fruition. Rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> now, what do you want to come to fruition? Because rest assured what you want is coming. And I just seen 9-11 on the timer. So, let me tell you what I think about that is that there could be, because the twos, a lot of times, so the two of cups kept coming up, and a lot of times the uh, twos can be usually about a choice, okay? So, I do feel like there's probably a choice between two people here. And so, what I'm, what I'm thinking, and then dreams, the universe speaks to you through your dreams. Didn't I say this? If I didn't say it this time, I said it um, in the reading that got cut off that um, I felt like this person was dreaming of you, but... As far as your dreams go, though, you have this, 
you have a huge manifestation like capability here. You're coming up as very magical with the high priestess, the magician, the queen or king of wands, dreams. So like be careful what you wish for kind of energy is what I'm getting. Okay, let me get a few from this deck. This is a Starseed Oracle. Karmic relationships. Yes, I feel like definitely one at least of these is a karmic relationship. Probably past life connected. Orion energy, polarity, soul, growth, and conflict. It's like some most everybody who we meet in our lives, they come in our lives to... uh help us grow our soul or you know however you want to say it baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense activated earth power places ley lines trust where you are led maybe that's also talking about getting out in nature <clears throat> or maybe you like to get out in nature Coping mechanism, uh, mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in, loosen your grip. That last song kind of goes with this card too. <clears throat> Inner earth, you'll survive this. New solutions and new beginnings. And all paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. That's beautiful. I think that's what, <clears throat> usually that's what these kind of connections here end up doing for us. I saw um, when I got stopped before I did a meditation and in my, in my meditation, I seen the moon card. The nine, uh, the nine of cups that comes from, oh, the nine of cups that comes from uh, this deck yeah, it's probably deep in there somewhere. But I felt like um, you were going, like taking a deep dive into something really emotional here and coming out on the other end of the situation, like in this Nine of Cups energy, like this, this wish fulfilled. But remember also what I said, and I'm seeing 222 on the timer. You, you're very powerful here. So make sure that what you manifest is what you really want because you'll probably get it. <laughs> wow. Pegasus transcending, number 28, eight, nine, 10, 11. And I did, right before I started recording, it was 11, 11. Okay, Bluebird, Bluebird Spirit, happiness. And then Phoenix transmutation freedom so what i'm thinking is you could be getting free from one of these people actually <clears throat> okay so that makes because that makes it difficult okay so the person on their mind uh and i got king of swords and ten of cups on the split the person on their mind will they end up together The person on their mind, will they end up together? Ten of Swords. The Tower. The Hangman. Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. and the Nine of Cups. Okay. So what it looks like to me is that for that to happen, something would have to be tore down, it looks like. Because it's kind of like, um, the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. It's like wish fulfillment here coming in. 
but something would have to be tore down before that could happen. So I think that goes back to what I was saying about being careful what you wish for and, you know, about if you do get that wish, because I feel like that you could, who all it would affect maybe, what all it could affect or something like that. Okay, so let me get a couple from the Affirmations deck, please, and I'm going to close this out. Detox. Detox here and then Abundance at the bottom of the deck. The Abundance card also came out um, before uh, on the out of this deck on the reading that got cut off. Okay. Okay, so detox. Too often we see this word and we instantly think body, diet, movement. Do we ever stop and think about how we can cleanse our minds? What mental clutter are we hanging on to, perhaps unnecessarily? Sister, if it doesn't spark joy in your mind, in your body, or in your soul, discard it. Just as we have the power to select the food we eat, we have the power to select our thoughts. Detoxifying our mind, body, and soul begins with one selected thought at a time. That's beautiful. Okay, abundance. True abundance, my love, is not just about money. True abundance is about recognizing with grace and humility what has already been sent your way. Abundant in life, abundant in love, abundant in movement, abundant in the almond milk latte your coworker bought you this morning. Start to appreciate the ways in which you are already so looked after. Start to build wealth in the little things and you will find the rest comes easy. Wow, it's interesting that the card said start to appreciate wait no start to build wealth in the little things and you'll find the rest comes easy because this ten of pentacles card can be about legacy wealth so i think that you're really you're gonna come to some kind of realization or let something go or this like i said the these three cards here are really good. Ten of Pentacles is like a stable commitment. Nine of Cups wish fulfillment, but what I don't, what I can't see is what has to come down for that to happen. That's something that you, you would know. Okay, so I hope that helped in some way, and I will be back later, you guys. Hope y'all have a great week or rest of the week.